Hi, I'm Phil. I've just completed a master's degree in civil engineering at Cardiff University, during which time I've done a foundation year and an industrial placement as well as the master's. So I've been here for six years. I'm originally from Bristol, but was brought up and was educated in Spain before coming to the university. The foundation year is a general engineering foundation, so it covers the basics of maths, physics, lab reports and anything you'll cover later on in your degree scheme. But you also get bits of civil engineering, mechanical and electrical engineering. So at the end of the, de the degree, well, at the end of the year, you can move on to whichever discipline you want to. I was always going to go on to civil engineering, which I did. But if you wanted to do something different, you can always change your mind. It's a really good year as it's not as intense as maybe the first year of a degree scheme would be. So you do have a little bit more time for yourself and get used to university life and maybe join societies as well. After my second academic year, I completed an industrial placement year. This spanned 12 months and I worked for a company based in Bristol, but operated all over the Southwest. So this meant that I travelled to lots of different locations such as West Wales, south of Birmingham and down to Devon and Dorset as well. So it was a lot of fun over one year just to go to lots of different places, especially having a break from spending so much time in one place for the first three years. Because I had to travel so much, I got a company car with the job. And uh, so you get lots of perks with different companies. It's not going to be the same with every company, but you, you will get some perks. The company I worked for was a concrete repairs uh, company, so it's involving maintenance and it was predominantly site based, which is why I had to travel around so much. Working with an established company was very eye opening and definitely taught me a lot. I learned a lot about health and safety, about management and just about the whole process and how the industry works, which meant that when I came back to university where they, was, they were giving you all these abstract sub um, abstract topics and everything and you didn't quite know what they were talking about but you had an idea it really put everything into perspective and gave you a better better knowledge of how the industry works so i'd recommend to anyone to do to do an, a placement at cardiff the good thing with cardiff as well is that they they don't give it to you on a silver platter but they will help you so much and they'll give you lots of contacts uh, i think every every week you get a list of like 20 different companies who are looking for students so there's a, there's a lot of ac accessibility for information there that they'll help you with. During my time at university, I do feel like I've learned a lot. <clears throat> I think one of the biggest drivers in this are all the practical components that Cardiff University offer on the course. For example, each year we go on a field trip to a different location in the UK. This year we went to Dublin on the master's degree. Last year we, we went to Birmingham. On these field courses, you really get a practical um, hands on experience with what the industry offers. So we'll learn how to survey uh, different areas and also just look at a building and try and see how it's structurally put together. Uh, we go there with the lecturers, so we get to know them quite a lot. And that makes it easier to ask them questions in the future years. As well as this, you get to know your course mates a lot better and it just gives you a bit more of a firm grounding in, in the, on the course and gives you a lot of friends. After this, we also get involved in a lot of design projects. They get more complicated as the years go on, of course, and we get less help as well from the lecturers because they want us, want us to think for ourselves. So this year was the most complicated and we had to design a hospital. That was an integrated design working with mechanical engineers and electrical engineers, as well as structural and architectural engineers. So that was a really interesting project, as I think 95 percent of the work was completely on our own. The lecturers gave us very little help, but it made us really think for ourselves and really got us used to working in a team uh, it, on such an important and technical project. And I think I've learned from that experience a lot. If I had to recommend three things for someone to do in their first year at Cardiff, the first one for me is the most important, I think is join a society. I, Cardiff offers over 200 societies and they're so diverse. They're from course based societies. So you can join the engineering society. Uh, they also have like a Harry Potter society, a, a tea and cake society or performance based societies. During these societies, I've, I've been only part of two or three uh, in six years and 
these are my uh, these are my best experiences overall at university and i've made some of my best friends through there i've been on holiday with these people and it's i know a lot of people that join societies in their last year and they say why didn't i do this earlier on so get in there early do it in your first year and you will not regret it secondly i'd say go down to cardiff bay it's it's a hit it's not a hidden gem but it is such a it's a place that i don't go that often and I, every time i go i think oh, i wish i did go down there off more often it's really easy to get to in cardiff city center you go to kate's train station it's a four minute train down there you can also get uh, something that i've not done but from butte park which is the main park which is probably a 10 minute walk for most university residences you can get a boat into the bay uh, which apparently is quite good and quite cheap so it's a nice thing to do in the summer uh, finally, I would say go up Penavan, which is in the Brecon Beacons. It's very easy to get to from Cardiff, even if you don't have a car. I only just found out, I think last year, that um, on the weekend, any T bus in Wales. So to get up to Penavan, you'd go on, to the, on the T4 bus. Uh, there's also one that runs to Cardiff airports, but on the weekend, they're free. I think they're quite cheap anyway, but on the weekend, they are free. So you can get, get up there with no hassle, spend a day out there. It's beautiful. It's a, a fairly easy walk. There are different routes and it's really good fun. I've been out there a few times and 